Welcome back to daytime on Rogers TV. And yes, it is into th week three of back to school. So the kids have been uh, back to school long enough to realize that all the stuff that they thought they needed is completely wrong. <laughs> and now they have to go in and see Michael, Michael Sangster, who is the uh, digital camera expert. Well, most importantly, I think the Apple trainer for superior computers. Michael, thank you for coming in. Thanks. Uh, is, is that true? Do you actually see a, a kind of a bump that, that week or two after school when kids realize what they actually need or what parents realize their kids actually need? Yeah, we see that kind of change where people go and say, oh, I thought I needed this. Mm -hmm. and, and really, it doesn't fit what they actually have to have. So, you know, I brought some stuff that most students need to have. They may not know they need to have it, but those are the types of you know things I brought along today. So All right, fun example. Stuff. Um, I mean, one of the biggest things we can look at, of course, is you know the laptop. Definitely, laptops are becoming something that uh, people have embraced. It's completely into school nowadays. But it's these new ultra portables. Those are the ones that people are really into. Nice, mm. small, compact. They don't need to be big. When we're in class, we don't need you know big screens. What we need is battery life and we need them to work. Mm -hmm. And truthfully, that's what we're looking at now is, you know, Apple, we have the MacBook Air here and by Zeus, you know, we have one of their small uh, computer systems. So we have a Windows 8 as well. It used to be, you know, Apple was kind of like the guys who brought out the real, you know, sleek and small. Now we have other companies bringing it out as well. Definitely. Um, nice things about these. Simple, easy to use, and with the Asus tablet, of course, we have like a touch screen. Yeah, you know, oh, so which is something okay. students tend to like. It's it's they tend to embrace it a little right. bit more than us old guys. So you know, again, something that they can actually use and, and play with as well. Yeah. Um, things they have to have or should be having: backup hard drives. We see more people coming in halfway through a school year crying. I lost everything. Save, I spilled save my something. project for yeah. me, Michael. How do I uh, get it back? We cry. have we have yeah. yeah, people in you know year three, year four, my thesis was on there. Oh. Did you have it backed up? No, I didn't. So again, backup hard drives. Something essential that everybody should have in different styles. I mean we have ones here by Le C, which would be like, you know, an extreme rugged drive that can be bashed around a backpack. Perfect. Things that we can use. Yeah. Or, you know, things like the My Passport drives, really nice and small really convenient to take but again we're backing up our computers making sure that we have all our data safe ready to go so what am i looking for in an external hard drive capacity we always mm -hmm. want to have at least the amount of capacity in our system so if we have a one terabyte drive in here we should always have at least a one terabyte drive externally ideally more more is the better okay. so again we can always have basically a direct one-to-one -one. so that everything so that we can do a full backup of Absolutely. everything we've got there and, exactly and ideally we like to have double the size you know but some people just aren't going to spend the money on yeah. it and it's pushing them to get them to do it i mean once we have the backup hard drive the other side of it is back up yeah you know, don't use don't it. just actually don't do just it. leave yeah. it on the side yeah. so you know a lot of students and that of course are all familiar with the usb sticks as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm different sizes now you know it used to be just you know you know two gig sticks now we're up to like 64 gig sticks 128 gig sticks are coming huge yeah big things so things that we always need the one that always tends to get overlooked cable locks yeah i mean if you're oh. in a dorm things like that you cable lock your systems okay and i mean if you're not cable locking them they go walking yeah, yeah. that's one actually the, a really good tip yep. you know and it's something that parents don't even about no. when they're when they're getting their kids these these supplies yeah and they make different styles like you have one here this one has of course you know where you can just click through the the different things you have yeah. the key lock styles keys sometimes get lost uh, so you know we always have to make that kind of choice but these are all things students really should have, should have. as well as protection you know we need something to carry these devices around mm -hmm. in. yeah in cases nowadays the nice part is they don't have to be dull and boring. We say, you know, that used to always be the plain black bag. Right. That's what everybody had. Now we have companies, you know, where they have, you know, like the nice neoprene mm -hmm. with the hot pink, you know, very I small, sleek cases, really nice stuff, you know, and again, not boring and dull and a little bit more fun and friendly, mm -hmm. and especially now catering to women. They're finally hitting that point I think so, yeah. where they've got away from just, I need to have this dull black bag. Right. I'm now catering more of the girls. And let's face it, they're really embracing technology. I mean, exactly. you see them all the time. So, 
And they're, they're they're almost they're like fashion accessories now. Absolutely, yeah. it's true. Absolutely. Actually, I was given a beautiful one. My parents shop at Superior Computers, <laughs> and I received a beautiful one for Christmas. And I actually take my laptop with me more frequently now because <laughs> the case is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So, so it just goes with you. It's and, true. and for students, you know, the the worst thing you can, as a parent who's invested money in a laptop, the worst thing you can envision is them throwing it into uh, a backpack, right? Exactly. And, and I mean, you'll see here on this one. I have like a nice plastic case mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. this. So, you know, it's a protection case. This is by spec. Really do a lot with Apple systems. So, you know, they keep that nice aluminum finish protected as well with a, a MacBook Air where they don't have a cable lock system. You know, you can get ones that have this lock right yeah. on the casing. Again, anything to deter. That's what we always look at. Deter being, you know, stolen. You know, the other thing, Antivirus software. Okay, let's talk more about that. Sure. Superior SuperiorComputers.ca at 2200 Warncliffe Road South. You can stop by, say hi to Michael, check all of this stuff out. We'll talk more with Michael Sangster when daytime returns. Welcome back to Daytime on Rogers TV, talking once again with Michael Sangster from Superior Computers. And uh, Michael, we were talking about you know keeping keeping your equipment safe with the uh, with the lock, um, having your your data safe with the external hard drive. What about antivirus? Uh, something everybody needs should have. Uh, highly overlooked, though. It's amazing how many people still come in with viruses constantly, mm -hmm. and, and it tends to be something they just let it lapse, or right. they right. get it with the computer, but it's good for. 30 days. Right. Um, so always a good idea to invest in something. Uh, you know, at Superior we tend to stand by, you know, with AVG products as well as some of the Norton products. So mm -hmm. depends what people like. You know, not everybody likes one antivirus versus another. And we've kind of had years of different opinions. So, you know, we've listened to that. So we carry a group or, or different styles depending on their needs. Okay. So. I want you to help us uh, break a, or confirm a myth that um, <laughs> Apple products are, are virus proof. No. Apple products are not virus proof. They are not virus proof. Your Mac can b get a virus. Y yes. Um, the likelihood is very, very uh, slim right now. There's not a lot out there. I've right. been running Apple's personally for 10 years yeah. and I've never had anything. In saying that, I've seen some people where I've had things go through Office, Microsoft Office sure. on a Mac, which is, you know, affected all their documents. Mm. So oh. you can still, do you need to invest, you know, hundreds of dollars or a hundred dollars in software? No, there's some free ones that you can download right from the app store. Um, you know, very simple antivirus software that will do 90% of it. And, and the other thing is keep your systems up to date. Right. Right. They, they patch the software all the time. There's new updates coming out and a lot of that will solve a lot of those virus issues. Okay. So. Uh, Lori, are you taking notes? I'm taking uh, notes. That's I awesome. I have two kids in school and this is all very fascinating to me. Well, what has uh, Lori got there? So, so this is a, a product called iNotebook and this is something that we're finding is kind of growing. Um, the typing on things like an iPad <laughs> in class uh, this is just like a standard pad of paper, it except it has a special sensor in here and a special pen with it. As you start to actually write, or if you try writing actually on the pad itself, okay. it'll actually display out onto the iPad. Yep. So anything that you do, if you hopefully will work here for us. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if All it's right. turned on. Take okay. some notes there, Lori. Oh, look at that. You Showing up say. on the iPad. Rescues. Rock. There we go. Nice. So something like this where a student could be actually taking notes, they physically want to be able to do it. Or if you're doing things, uh, for instance, you know, if you're a science student and you have characters or you're writing equations down, things that don't necessarily translate into direct text, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, or if you're not comfortable with, you know, your finger. The other thing is these have limited battery time. This I could pretty much run most of the day. And even if this isn't connected, I can still, it will transmit that data in later on once oh, okay. it reconnects with so it. So it will save what I've That's written right. and then you can download I it I can later. write my notes. Okay. I can do whatever. The other nice thing is with the pen that comes with it is it's also a stylus on the other end. So, you know, I can use it on this wow. end to actually That's pretty cool. dry with oh. it. So we're finding now more the iPad being embraced. Nice, it's easy, it's, you know, compact. Right. Is it as powerful as a computer? No. no. But for what most people need it to do, it's a great toy. And, you know, with the iPad, what we're finding as well, it's the other things that we can do with it. Mm -hmm. Our music, of course, we've all seen before where we have things like our music. I can now, you know, choose my favorite band. And here I've brought along another toy 
which is basically a Bluetooth wireless speaker. This is called the Blue Piston. We've tried a lot of these speakers out because there's a lot of really there, cheap ones. There are a ton right. of them, yeah. And there's a lot of really good ones. Mm -hmm. This is one of the really good ones. Okay. okay. Blue Piston, the nice thing, beautiful colors. They come in all sorts. Super it cute. is Bluetooth. I can actually plug it in if I want. It runs on a battery. We've had one guy in our store bought one and he's run it for about 12 hours really and it just keeps going off a single charge off wow. a single charge so with this it's nice because it actually works with apple's you know airplay mode so i can actually uh, plug it in and play my song i can go ahead and do whatever i'd like little connect hotel through california. little hotel california but it's simple and again it works with things like the ipad but i can also use it with my laptops i can also use it with my phone all these different devices that can connect in. It's just wow. a wireless technology called Bluetooth. And again, I can connect through and it makes it very, very easy. But this, you know, I can take anywhere. And in another place we're seeing these come out is out on the golf course. <laughs> Guys love them. They're not supposed to be using their phones on all these courses, right. but they will take a little Bluetooth speaker along with them. And again, from their phone, they can listen to their music. So it's another great way to be able to go out. That so. is phenomenal. How does that charge? Just US, USB? USB. Just yep, plugs in. in, just very simple USB, and again, just a little flick of the switch. Again, you can run a cable, so if you have a device that's not Bluetooth, right. just a normal standard 8-inch uh, jack into anything, and you're ready to go. Michael, you astound me every time you come in with some uh, cool stuff. If you uh, are interested in anything, or if you need knowledge, this guy's brain is packed with all kinds of Apple knowledge. That's why he's called the Apple Trainer. Michael Sangster, superiorcomputers.ca is the website, 2200 Warncliffe Road South, and uh, you can stop in and tap that uh, knowledgeable brain of Michael's. Thank you so much for all this. Thank you. Appreciate it. When we come back, we get a chance to meet Sienna of Sienna's World. She's got her very own TV show right here on Rogers TV. That, when daytime returns, we'll be right back. It's that time of year again.